Welcome back, guys. Let's start with the uh, Empire City, and I'm ready to go. Monroe scrambled out of the water and found himself in a massive city with no sign of the swan or anyone else. Well, except someone's enormous pair of feet. These were attached to a giant who could have been a big help in catching the swan, but unfortunately, here was the laziest giant who had ever lived, and it was his day off. Having celebrated in his usual way, he was now sleeping it off and quite unable to hear Monroe yelling. While he was looking for a way to wake the giant, Monroe noticed something even better. A floating ship. Alright guys, every time I have to take control, it always surprises me. So I keep thinking it's like, still kind of a story. Telling. Oh, check that out, guys. I can uh, can only throw water. Yeah, that's what it is. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> Blue paint. I don't know. All right, so let's do some exploring here. I just think of that humongous whatever it was in the water. I'm not going in there. I'll be like, and Monroe fell to the bottom of the water. The end. <laughs> no deals. Oh, there's this one. We have to hurry up. You guys hear that? Oh, is that freaking giant? Laziest giant in the world, I believe. Or whoever lived. <laughs> what is that? Is that his foot or what? Looks like his elbow. You see the overalls? And the elbow? <laughs> okay, let me see. Thought it was some kind of switch. Oh, it was right. Alright, but before I go in there... Ooh, there's a balloon over there. Never mind. I'm gonna go and get that balloon. Maybe this part is an extra part? I knew it wouldn't be that easy. <laughs> Just like right there mocking me. I was uh, looking for more balloons. I think that's what you call them. <laughs> Purple... Oh, Purple balloons. And, uh, I found one, and then before I could find the rest, I was getting nauseous. I don't know what it is, but, like, too much white and, uh, too much white, like, the black paint, it's, I don't know, it made me feel nausea. <laughs> I think that's what it called, I think that's what they call it. Alright guys, after looking around, found out what I have to do. I think I'm lost again. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's this way. Alright. We are finding our way, guys. Slowly but surely. discovered painting, the king was a potter. He loved the simplicity of a well-spun pot. So when his subjects complained that his new city was too austere and that there was nowhere to relieve themselves, the king ignored them. But when they started relieving themselves in his pots, the king hastily built them a sewer system. Hmm. Doesn't want his creations to be messed with. All right. Slowly getting there, guys. It's kind of this game always has my attention, so I don't want to. I want to know where I am at least. <laughs> Freaking game. All right, so not that way.
If I'm correct, I think we found the balloon. Oh, yes! <laughs> One of 28, I believe, huh? Alright. So before, guys, we were over here. Alright, let's get out of here. Look for more switches. Anything hidden around here doesn't look like it. I was right about the elbow. And uh, how did I miss that? Sometimes the giant wondered about where all the people in the city had gone. Mostly he worried they might come back and ask him to clean their gutters or put out their fires. But they never did. And that was why the giant, who was the laziest that had ever lived, was also the happiest. Hmm. I wonder if we need him to open this door to move on or something. But well, we're gonna have to look around, guys. Figure this out. Huh. It's good to know there are stairs over here. I'm gonna have a look around here about this gate. Make some, uh, hopefully fills a... We can use that boat in there when the water goes through. Alright guys. I think we're ready to move on. I'm gonna take a big risk here. Try to get across by going on this thing. There's nothing left for us on this side. So let's go. I'm ready. You guys ready? Alright, let's go for it. <laughs> we made it. We made it, guys. This music reminds me of a uh, Finding Nemo. You guys might think I'm crazy, but it has that vibe to it. The adventure tune in the background. Going into the unknown. Alright. Let me see if I can get this balloon over here. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oh my gosh. How are we going to get that, guys? Oh, we got it. We got a mean, mean right hand. That can throw awesome balloons. Alright, let's go, guys. Good. At least they weren't after me. What's over there? Nothing? Thought maybe a hidden balloon. Oh wow, there's a lot of balloons here. Alright. Let's look around here. It's a big city. I'm trying to reach that balloon over there. I can't. Alright. Hard to the scaffolding. Hope I said that right. Hmm. I wonder if my paint can restore that. No? Okay. I'm gonna try if I can jump up there. Nope. Can't jump high enough. Okay, am I really gonna... Alright, my... I didn't think that would work, but it did work. Oh! <laughs> This Monroe kid has has some goal inside of him. Alright. So I'm gonna get this balloon over here. I always check if I can go inside one of these windows. Let's 
There's gotta be one secret window I can go inside. Oh wow. Alright guys, let's jump for it. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh shit! We didn't make it. <laughs> oh man. Sorry guys, we're gonna have to try again. Hopefully we can make it this time. Oh! <laughs> we did, barely. Alright. Looks like the same. Just a skirt. <laughs> I was about to say the king just did double. Just for him, but uh... Of course not. Alright, hopefully there's more balloons around here. It's kind of nice to see that some things have color. Some white and there's uh, where I think I should be going. But I'm going to look over here before I do that. No, I got to hit him. <laughs> one hit him one time. Let's go. Ooh, okay. It's like a mini puzzle, I believe. Move that over there. I think that's what I have to do. far as I can move it. All right. Let's see if I was right. All right. Hopefully this is right. If this is not right. I don't know where I'm going to go or how I'm going to figure this out. Tricky, tricky. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Alright, we're on a roll with these balloons so far. I'm gonna go this way, see what's going on. Let's see what's over here. I think it's the same thing, <laughs> just an entrance. I wonder if we can use this. <laughs> can zoom in and everything. Oh, there's the swan. I can only look forward. I can't turn it left or right, fortunately. Okay, so we know where the swan is, the swan's all the way up there, where the balloon boat is, just about, and I'm gonna go uh, inside the city, maybe we can figure out a way to wake up the giant. Or just like ditch him here, oh my gosh. Maybe I should have just jumped over there. Alright. <laughs> There's another one right there. Shouldn't hurt too bad. It's just a small, small little dive. Alright. <laughs> this one's gonna hurt. Let me see. <laughs> my bad, Monroe. My bad. Should have been more. Should have been paying more attention or something right there. I should have just gone that way. That's what I should have done. Hmm. Something tells me that water is going to go down here. I have to figure out a way to open this door. 
happened here? Earthquake or something? Alright, let's go in here, I suppose. Oh! Oh, shit! If I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna head straight towards it anyways. What the heck is that? Is that like a rat? <laughs> Thank goodness I can I can get out of there. Man, shut the door and everything. Part 3, new growth. Alright. So I guess we go this way? Okay, uh... I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Hmm. Well, there's some text over there. Maybe I have to go and touch that. Going down the chains. filled up with people, the streets filled up with garbage. In a fury, the king painted over the roads with a canal, which swept away the trash, along with some of the slower children. But the water brought something else, a horde of vines which began covering the city. Uh. What the? It's growing every time I, t I give it some water. Maybe this is how we're going to get up there. Climb this, or <laughs> yes, we can. All right. Seems like we're gonna need those vines to get up there too. Work your magic vines. Alright, I think that's enough. Oh, wrong way. Alright. Oh man, look at that guy. It's the freaking monster. Alright, I think this is how we're gonna cross. We're gonna have to use these vines as much as we can. Aw, oh, come on! <laughs> Just get me up there! Oh! Alright! Finally, guys! Kinda took me a while to figure that out. I didn't think that the vines would stretch all the way back there to all the way over here. We're ready to go now. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep using these vines. Seems like that's what I have to do. I'm gonna try to get it so it goes up there. Alright, looks like it's gonna work.
All right, guys. We're gonna make it. Oh yes. All right. So it looks like the swans' uh, footprints are on the wall. Probably gonna keep using these vines. <laughs> We're going the right way. Hopefully. We're on the freaking wall right now. Alright. What's down over here? That was pretty cool uh, to watch. Man, I'm gonna keep using these vines until I can't use them anymore. Hmm. It's always kind of weird to see this golden color objects around here. Hmm. Pretty nice view up here. All right, 11 out of 28. Man, we're gonna have to make a jump for it, guys. All right, let's go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Part four of the palace. All right. Let's see, where do I go from here? I've actually jumped in the water one time trying to figure this out. And you just uh, wake up on land. So. It's kind of a weird angle. Why can't it just be straight? Let's get up here. Alright, slowly but surely guys, we're getting there to the end of this route. Kind of ruins the magic if I know where the everything is. Just gonna go and guess. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I certainly am. This game is pretty interesting. Unlike his nicely trimmed hedge maze, the vines refused to stay where the king wanted them. He ordered his subjects to pull up every vine they saw. But the people were getting tired of the king's endless decrees. So they secretly began watering the vines whenever the king wasn't looking. All right, maybe some more vines over here. Do I get on that? What the heck? <laughs> For some reason I thought that uh, I had to get on that thing and that thing was going to take me all the way to that spot.
All right, guys, I'm kind of getting lost. All right, guys, we're out of there. Time to move along over here. I'm not gonna lie guys, after a while it's kinda I just kinda don't wanna know where everything is sometimes, but sometimes it's alright not to know. But after the first level it was kinda it was mind teasing the whole the whole way. It was like mind teasing the whole way guys. Oh that's pretty interesting. More of the king. All right, follow the footprints. All right, where are we? It's getting too crazy for me right now. I wonder what's going to happen when we finally reach the swan. Alright. As long as these vines can follow me, I'm going to keep, keep watering them. Okay, I think this might be the end of the road for them. We're on our own for right now. Okay. Part 5, the seawall. Alright. Slowly we're getting closer. I don't know if we're supposed to go up there or not, but uh, I'm going to keep moving forward, guys. I'm going to use this telescope, see what's out there. What the heck? <laughs> the king has his own island. Maybe we have to go over there. Yeah, I've earned a trophy telescope. Yeah, maybe he's over there and we have to get the king. See another balloon, so I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> Monroe seems like he's getting tired. Ah, making those sigh, sigh sounds. The king hated the sea, and all because of his very first castle. It was the only one he had ever come close to finishing, and it took him a single day. But then the tide came in and washed it all away. He vowed that someday he'd build a kingdom that would last forever. Interesting. I wonder if we're gonna confront the king. About the swan or anything. Okay guys, it seems like we have to go this way. <laughs> I didn't know if I was going to- oh, look at that shark. The heck? It's a dangerous city guys, dangerous. We better make the right jumps, or it's over for us.
All right. Let's go. I'm ready, guys. Uh oh, it's a dead end. Not yet, not yet. Where there's a vine, there's a way, apparently. Hmm. I wonder where this is going up there. All right. Time to start climbing, guys. Man, they should have titled this game Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> or at least this chapter. Alright, alright. Ooh, this is gonna be kinda crazy. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> I'm not gonna look down ever again. I'm slowly moving guys <laughs> if I miss one vine freaking shark shark dinner one row better have strong arms oh man why isn't that growing Oh, we're almost there. All right. Let's see where we're at. We're gonna need the help of the vines once again. Oh man, this is crazy. We're gonna have to climb some more. Oh no. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Am I supposed to drop down there? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think we are, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, man. One wrong move, I'm dead, guys. The vines were slowly burying the king and his city. No matter what he tried, the king couldn't stop them. So he decided to create something that could. He mixed in paint thinner, malice and snot, and soon had the outlines of a pretty horrible creature. But it wasn't until the thing began to coil its tentacles and snap its jaws that the king understood what he had made. And for the first time in his life, the king was afraid. Wow. All right, guys. I don't know if we can climb this. Hopefully we can. Oh, okay. We actually can climb this thing. Alright, freaking Monroe is a beast. Alright, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Oh, man. All right. For some reason, I thought we could use that hose. Maybe we can, because I don't see how we're going to cross. <laughs> What's this going to help us do?
All right, finally, guys. It took a while, but we did it. This is crazy, guys. Super crazy. What this kid is doing. Alright, alright. Did you guys hear that? Even half finished, the creature had no trouble swallowing up all the king's soldiers, half his zoo, and three peppermint gazebos. It was only the help of his pet hippo and the giant that the king was able to force it into the sea. And though the water remained black for years after, the creature was never seen again on shore. All right, so I wonder what we're going to have to do here. <laughs> that freaked me out for a second. I was like, is that somebody dead? They just fell down. I'm paranoid. All right. All right, we made it. Huh, very interesting. I guess we're going to have to keep growing these vines to get out of here. guys hear that sound? Oh, that window just came out of nowhere. Or I just didn't see it. But either way, let's, let's head towards it. We're almost there, guys. Alright. Oh man, we've come a long way, guys. I'm gonna keep going with these vines. I'll probably need them, as always. Within a short time, the king's subjects had all moved away. Except the giant, who was quite loyal and also very lazy. All right. So I'm gonna go up here, guys. There's nothing over there. It's not worth risking to get inside that top of that box. Oh, I was about to say, did we finally do it? Did we finally reach the swan? Man, guys, look where we started all the way down there and now we're up here. Awesome. Awesome. Monroe waved goodbye to the giant and set sail. But no matter how fast he went, the swan was always just out of reach. And not for the first time that day, Monroe suspected he was being led somewhere. But then they flew into a cloud and everything went black. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that last chapter. We're going to have to go into the dark nighttime. All right, see you then, guys.